and looks like we're live okay the microphone's working hello welcome back everyone to this open phone video um, so I'm going to continue talking about some other Reynolds average neighbor Stokes models uh, I've already kind of demonstrated you know how to make this uh, make, uh, make turn this into a K Omega SST kind of model all right so let's go out I'm going to copy CPAR pimple foam Rens, okay, Rens, uh, K Omega SST. So, oopsie, I forgot. Pimple foam template Rens. So, I'll turn this into the K Omega SST. So, you can uh, go and look at, look at these things there. Pimple foam. Okay. And I'll just do an all clean because I mean there's nothing much else I don't want to take up too much space in the github um, but you can run this your own you can go to constant and you'll see uh, turbulence properties there being k omega ssd it's pretty simple you can go and change the uh, things you can change it as and how you like all right so next one I'm going to copy over the template I'm gonna copy over the template um, CPL pimple foam template rents pimple. Okay, let me do that again. I needed the break for a while. Okay, pimple foam. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, uh, pimple foam rents uh, spalot almaras. Okay, so that's that's the other one I want to do. So let's go to the pimple foam rand spalot armorous. Okay, that, that's where we go. You can do it all clean here again, and I'm gonna do the same same steps here. Okay, I'm gonna do the same steps here. Um so again let's go to the turbulence properties. Okay, actually I did not need to you know clean this thing up. Let me go and run that auto patch in the background. I'll put the end in the background, let it run. Okay, but while it's running, I can just go and take a look at the uh, turbulence properties. Okay, this time I want to change it to Spalot Almaras. So let's do Spalot Almaras here. You don't have to worry about the spelling, because uh, if anything, uh, uh, when we start running Pimple Foam, um, it will tell us the if we actually made any errors okay okay looks like it's doing the auto patch now it's uh, giving the auto patch output so that's done perfect and let's uh, see the spalot almaras then we'll try and run pimple foam and you will have some errors there okay it won't, won't have an error per se Okay, so it has this some um, warning for us. Uh, it says a uh, turbulence kinetic energy not defined for a uh, spallot omerus model or something like that. Okay, which kind of reminds me, before I, I continue on spallot omerus, I, I kind of forgot how to mention the boundary conditions in the last in the last video. Okay, I have just gotten the case to run. Doesn't mean it's physically correct and doesn't mean that you know boundary conditions are set correctly. Okay, so let me do an auto patch again. And I'll put the uh, end in the background so I can like do other stuff with this terminal. Okay, so yeah, that's that's something we need to take note of. Okay, zero dot original. Let's go and see. What's this include? Okay, whatever. Um yeah, probably, probably the way to go about it is to take a look at this, uh, the K and Omega and new T here. All right. So this is running auto patch for the other one. Okay, so so we'll have this uh, so-called turbulent uh, KE. Ah, okay. So now now I know what this is talking about. Include is actually a C plus plus syntax that will kind of you no know, return. It will look at files over here. Okay, it will look at files over here. 
for the boundary conditions. Okay, so this is what the things actually look like, and that's totally fine. Um, yeah, it's a sort of a messy case because a lot of uh, new things. Okay, let, let me use a, a more clean ish case to see, uh, to demonstrate some of the boundary conditions we can actually use. Okay, anyway, um, let's go to K. Alright, we'll see that, uh, that there is some. There are some boundary conditions again. Um, so this this uh, flow is like going from the bottom patch going to the top patch. Top patch is a zero gradient. It's kind of what we expect. We can use a wall function okay, with an initial value of this internal field, which is 3.75 times 10 to the minus 5. For the bottom patch, of course, we can use this turbulent kinetic energy inlet. All right, no, no issue with that. And if you ever are not sure about what boundary conditions to use or what boundary conditions there are that you can type in, you can always use the list boundary conditions command. Pimple, pimple form, then you type list, bo list boundary conditions. You keep pressing tab, doesn't seem to work. Okay, yes, okay. So there are two things. So you can list scalar BCs or this list vector BCs. So that's after pressing tab, it will help a lot. Okay, so uh, K, K here is turbulent kinetic energy and that's usually a scalar. So you have to look at scalar BCs. All right, so there are lots of scalar BCs over here. All right, and lots of scalar BCs over here. And uh, over here you will see this uh, turbulent uh, intensity kinetic energy inlet. You will also see turbulent mixing length uh, dissipation rate inlet. Dissipation rate inlet, this is actually for, um, for epsilon. So if you look at the epsilon, uh, you see this dissipation rate inlet, and this is based on the mixing length rather than the turbulent intensity. So this will kind of auto-calculate everything for you. You can also look at omega. Omega is over here. Um, what you should put here in omega, this is for k omega sst by the way. So am I in the k omega sst? Yeah, I am. So let's uh, go to k omega sst. Uh, we'll need to have a turbulent mixing length frequency inlet. So that is for that. You can always take a look at this, uh, this whole long list, search online. But these are the main ones you'll want to use for uh, inlets and outlets of, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the main ones you want to use for inlets and outlets of a uh, Rens type model, K epsilon and K omega SST, and K omega as well. So this one is uh, this is called turbulent mixing. Uh, this is the turbulent frequency. Omega is a turbulent frequency. That's the actual name of it. So this is the type. And oopsie. Okay, let's let's undo, undo. Okay. Let's say first, I want to quit and take a look at a uh, new, okay, epsilon, right? So what, what we'll need is a value of a mixing length, which we put it here as 0 0.07. Uh, how we do that, that's a, uh, I mean, I kind of explained in the earlier videos as well, how we determine these boundary conditions. And the value here is, of course, this internal field. A internal field so uh, we can we can do that uh, we can just copy and paste these two lines so control shift C for Linux system otherwise you will probably have to uh, do something a little bit different for Windows subsystem for Linux but anyhow uh, let's go to a new okay Omega okay then I'll need to paste it here Okay, anyway, so, yeah, I think, yeah, I was needing to clear my throat just now, so I had to press the pause button. But uh, anyhow, let's, let's type uh, Control shift uh, v Yeah, so the, all right, there, there, there we go. Now, now this uh, omega actually works. This is the correct boundary condition for k and omega. p and u, same thing. No, no changes from there. Oops, I changed directory to the home. 
let me change back here I'll copy and paste okay let's go uh, pimple foam yeah pimple foam all right so it should work it work just as well I mean the set of boundary conditions just now it, they kind of work but they don't really show you know what the what the more convenient boundary conditions you can put in here all right okay so I'm not going to run this case to completion I'm just wanting to show you uh, K Omega SST all right let's do spoiler Almaras as well but let's go but before that let me let me uh, just quickly uh, get this this changes on git Okay, Omega SST rends added. Okay, nothing. Hmm. Okay, this this uh yeah, I better do an all clean. If not, my files are going to be really big. Okay, let's do it again. Git add and git commit. Um. Okay, Omega SST added to uh, tutorial case list. Okay. So that's that's uh, just something for you guys to go and take a look at. Spell Amara, same same idea. Okay. So I will just do this in the Spell Amaras bit, and apparently the smaller Amaras actually runs. But uh, what, what, uh, what we kind of need to look at is this uh, boundary condition. Okay, boundary condition. Hmm, okay before one more thing uh, again I think I forgot to mention all right uh, zero the original okay let's see uh, Omega okay uh, the wall uh, on the wall it it uses this uh, wall function here so do beware Omega likes to use this you should put this wall function did not I just save this just now Oh my goodness, did I not forget to save? Ah! Epsilon Okay Let me check Where did all my changes go? Oh no <laughs> Let me, I'll, I'll, I'll try to be back after a while Okay, anyway, uh, I, I put it in back into the zero original and I think I know why uh, why the, the file was gone. Uh, I actually put it into the zero directory and when I ran the all clean script, uh, it just deleted everything inside the zero directory. So all my changes were not saved. But anyway, uh, I put it in a zero original, zero dot original uh, file here so that uh, you should be able to see you know, every time you, you make a new, new file, uh, you should be the stuff should all be there so no no worries so again let me do the git okay my git add and git commit and with uh, um, k omega ssd bc's done okay so that's just that's just one part um, so yeah we normally like to use wall functions for k and omega Okay, so I mean those are those are already in the file. You can kind of take a look at it yourself. If you are not sure what wall functions are, please do go check out my turbulence modeling uh, video, and you you find that every of these uh, uh, k omega all these turbulence quantities they have wall functions for them to describe behavior of how these uh, quantities behave near the wall. Okay, so that's that is that. Uh, let's go to spell amorous. Hopefully there are no more mistakes I need to you know go back and correct but yeah spoiler amorous yeah so yeah the spoiler amorous actually uses this variable called new tilde this is not new t new t is the is the turbulence viscosity uh, kinematic turbulence viscosity new tilde is kind of a modified form of this new t which is used by spoiler amorous the, the, the other name for it is called the spoiler amorous variable now thankfully the new tilde is already here so we don't really need to uh, do very much uh, changes to it okay uh, though over here all the all the uh, stuff over here all the all the things here they are all zero gradient which is not very helpful okay um, 
So let's let's try. Let's try going to look for this uh, inside here, incompressible, g r uh, spalot almaras. Okay, and we'll see lots of uh, spalot almaras there. Okay, we'll actually, yeah. Let's, let's just take a look at one of them, right? Uh, for example, uh, we, ha we have this uh, motorbike thing. Okay, motorbike, uh, then you have this uh, Spalak Almaris model here. So let's take a look at the, this piezo foam case. Doesn't matter that it's piezo foam. Uh, if it does the job, it does the job. And it will give us the... It will help us to see the entries we need to uh, have and the boundary conditions as well. So let's go to zero original and take a look at the stuff in there. Nail tilde. Okay, so there'll be some, there'll be some uh, stuff here, which, okay. Uh, we have, we have some, uh, some stuff, like for example, we have a lower wall. Uh, is this new tilde or, yeah, this is new tilde. So at the walls, we have a fixed value of zero. Actually, that's pretty straightforward. Nothing, nothing too, too much there. And, uh, Usually at inlets, as you can see here, we'll have some uniform fixed value. How, how are we supposed to you know, determine uh, this fixed value? Uh, again, it may... I mean, there, there are ways, I guess, you can take a look. Uh, we'll, we'll stop for now and we'll explore some of these boundary conditions in the next video. But of course, you, if you take a look at this uh, tutorial case, you can take inspiration from there and say, okay, I'll just put a fixed value there. Nothing wrong with that. But you have to do some manual calculations to know what that fixed value is. So, uh, but at the wall, you'll have a value of zero because the turbulent viscosity at the wall is supposed to be zero. So new T is zero at the wall and new tilde therefore should also be zero. Okay, but anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Alright, and time's up.